Hey there everybody, Maria Marquis here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can take a table and see it in a bunch of different ways to meet our needs. So here I've got my task table, and tables are fine, sometimes I definitely want a table, but maybe I want to see this in a chart or a calendar. Well, I can adjust that all under the Options menu. Right along the top, notice we have all these different choices. We could see it as cards. We could choose a detail view, which puts a row front and center. So if I've got rows with a lot of information, detail can be helpful because it shows me everything in a little more space. I also have a calendar view if I want to see everything where it lands in time. Under this little More menu, we can choose to convert this into a form so that people can very easily add new projects. Or maybe I want it to be a timeline view so I'm able to see where things start and where things end and how much time we think they're going to take. Maybe I want to make it a chart so I could choose a bar chart. Or if I go under Chart Display, look at all these other charts that I can, I can do. Personally, I really like the word cloud. I think that's really fun. I also love under here, we can just make a board, which for me is going to be perfect because notice it automatically organizes everything by the person. So I can see everything Joel's working on, Polly, etc. And if I want, I can change up what is the sort of macro level. If I wanted it to be the task type or if I wanted it to be whether or not it's urgent. The key here is that these different display options allow you to see your data the way you want to see it to answer those questions that you have. And every type of choice you make here from display has its own special menu where you can adjust and tweak those little aesthetic options as well. So now it's your turn. Think about your data. How do you want to see it? And go ahead and change the display. All right, I'll see you next time.